doesn't matter if you are a lawyer, you're a doctor, any service-based business can use this process. Again, if you do, when you do your marketing audit, you might go to a different platform. In this case, we are talk, we're going to be referring to Facebook, but the process is still the same. And the first step that, the first thing that we did, or the first thing that happened in this doctor's account is that we started posting consistently Monday to Friday. And I will encourage you to post at least once a day from the customer's point of view, value from the customer's point of view. And in that post, and through all those posts, at least one video, ideally a Facebook Live. So number one is to start posting with consistency at least once per day in the, pl in the top platform that you pick. In this case, it's Facebook. The second step is to add video. Ideally, it will be a Facebook Live because it's more efficient. You don't have to edit in the back end. You have the ability to record high-definition videos and repurpose them, reuse them in another platform. So Facebook Live is very efficient because it saves you time. And then the video, the third step, the video that you record from that Facebook Live, you grab link clips and re-upload re them to YouTube. And why YouTube? Well, next time you do a Google search, pay attention if Instagram posts show up on Google, Facebook posts show up on a Google search, LinkedIn posts show up in a Google search, and you will realize that the only thing that shows up are YouTube video links and website article links or website pages. That's why we repurpose, or I will encourage you to repurpose clips of the long video to YouTube to allow people to discover your content when they search on YouTube or when they search on Google. The next step is to transcribe that video and publish, the, the, publish it into a new blog post. Don't type it. The idea is not to create more work. The idea is to repurpose your effort to be productive using time management concepts to be more efficient with your efforts. The idea is not to create more work. The idea is to provide value in an efficient manner that works for your customer and works for you. So once you upload the video on YouTube, now you are in another platform, a search engine that will allow you allow people to discover you. And by transcribing that, and in some cases you can even transcribe these videos automatically, you can use that this, your same voice, how you talk into a blog post. This will increase your chances to be discovered when people search on Google. They do a Google search. After you publish your new blog post, the next step is to email. Obviously, you share it on social media, in your, in your social channels. But you most important, you want to email your clients to keep nurturing and building that relationship with content that provides value. And also, you want to email your leads with additional content to move them closer to book that appointment with you. And the final step is to create use ads. In this case, Facebook ads. Two campaigns that you want to have all the time, regardless of your business. One, an awareness campaign to reach out People that have no idea who you are, but are interested in what you offer. And the second campaign is to convert a percentage of that cold traffic, that people that didn't know who you are, into hot leads so you can present them with an offer.